how can I be filled with the Holy Spirit? We're going to take all of this information you've, you've received today and say, how can we actually experience it? Experience these realities that we've heard about. And it reminds me of a story. You see, as some of you may know, I am originally from Scotland. And uh, it reminds me of a story of a, of a very famous zoo in Scotland, the Edinburgh Zoo. And uh, it, a number of years ago, it was very famed for uh, uh, the fact that it had a gorilla, a very famous gorilla. And unfortunately, one year, the gorilla died. Everyone say, ah. Oh. Oh. It's, it's very, very sad, very, very tragic. But it just so happened that at the same time as this gorilla died, this... Uh, this man from Glasgow was applying for a job, and the managers came up with this idea that what if we got one of those gorilla suits, and it would just be a few weeks, and we could put it on this man and just have him hang out in the back of the gorilla cage for a couple of weeks until we got a replacement. So they interviewed this man from Glasgow, and they gave him the job, and uh, he reluctantly put on the suits, went into the cage because he was really in need of a job. And uh, it wasn't the most exciting thing at first, but what he found was that the more he kind of got into it, uh, the more exciting it was. People actually began to gather, and they'd throw him bananas, and they'd even throw him money. Don't know what they thought a gorilla was going to do with money. but And uh, so as the days wore on, he, he began to get quite adept to swinging on the bars. And uh, he got more daring as time went on. And one particular day, he said, that's it. I'm, I'm going for the, for the triple spin. You know, so he got his courage up and he jumped on those bars with a vengeance. And he went around once. He went around twice. And on his third way around as he was in the upswing, he lost his grip. And he flew in the air and flew right over the fence and landed with a thud in the cage next door. <laughs> Only to his horror to realize that he had landed in the lion's cage. And as he looked over in the corner, he saw the lion get up slowly and begin to walk towards him. And at this point, he lost his composure and he began to scream, help, help, I'm not a gorilla, I'm a man. And he felt the breath of the lion in his neck. And then he heard a voice. And the voice said, shut up you fool or we'll both lose our jobs. 